Hi guys, earlier today the developers uh, released a developer update when, where they talk about the new uh, ranked season and the new token shop with the collector tokens and how to get new cards and they talk about introducing pool 4 and pool 5 into the game and, and, and the new cards, you know so uh, we had a lot of doubts regarding how the collection was going to work with the collector token and with the introduction of pool 4 and pool 5 and they did a blog post in the marvelsnap.com uh, website where they clarify some things so i wanted to make a video to let you guys know what they are saying here they start just talking a bunch of bullshit blah 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 the, then they say this this is very important to me we need more collection goals i always say to you guys one of my goals in the game is having a full collection and once I, re I, I complete that goal, I have something uh, less to do in the game, you know, so I have to replace that goal with something else. So they are prevent, and I said one of the solutions is they start uh, introducing cards at a faster rate, you know. So they, they know this is a thing that we, we like to pursue some uh, goal that is collection oriented. So that is why they are introducing the pool four and pool five, or as they call it, series. They they call them series instead of pools. So I don't know if we should start uh, calling them series two just to uh, without the, some possible confusion, you know. And of course, the collector's tokens uh, help out with that system. So let's see what they say about the token shop. Okay, as we knew, you can find collector's tokens in collector's caches and reserves. We knew this information and you start getting them at level 500 and we can use those tokens in the token shop. We know that the cards rotate every eight hours and that we can pin a card. We know this information. So this is a picture of how it will look like. Here is the remaining time for the uh, card to change. Here is the cost of the card, a thousand uh, collector's tokens. And here we have the collector's tokens you have, 3000, this dude right here. So this should help you out target a specific card that you want. If you have a good, a great meta deck and you only need one card, this should help you out. But I always say, say, what if you get two little collectors uh, tokens and then you can't buy a, a card in a lot of time? So apparently they answer that question here. So let's check it out. They say, how can you get collectors tokens? Tokens are replacing boosters in collector's caches and reserves. Collector's caches and reserves will have a 25% chance to drop 100 tokens each. But once players have all of the Series 3 cards, they'll have an additional 22% chance to get 400 tokens, a significant increase. It is a significant increase. So we have a 25% chance to get 100 tokens. That is great, bro. Because uh, at least in reserves, that is what I want. I have a 25% to get a card. Now I have a 25% to get uh, tokens and I have some uh, extra room for the credits and the gold that they don't feel bad. So in general, you will be getting something cool out of your reserves, you know. So I like this change. 25% is a good chance. So you get 100 tokens every four, in average, every four uh, boxes to get a thousand you need 40 boxes, bro. That is a lot of fucking boxes, dude. <laughs> but, well, I don't know if there will be some other way of getting tokens, you know. 25% is a good chance because you also have a 25% chance of getting a card. So, yes, the tokens isn't the, the, the primary thing to, to collect cards, you know. And you also get uh, credits and gold. So it is not that bad, but 100 tokens feel like a, like too little, you know, for something that will take a thousand of those things. So if you, if you again, if you get 100 tokens on, on, on average in four, catch, in four reserves, you need 40 reserves in average to get uh, your, your thousand collector's tokens, you know. So it could be rough. It could be rough for sure. Of course, if you are in a situation similar to mine, well, you have comple almost completed your collection, everything will be cool because you have an additional 22%, so roughly 50% 
to get 400 tokens so every two uh, boxes you get 400 tokens of course if i already have all the cars why do i need the tokens for well i believe the series 4 and series 5 answer that question so let's see what they have to say uh, respecting to that we are adding two exciting new series of rare cards series 4 and series 5 okay series 4 rare we're launching series 4 with 10 new cards that is great Unlike earlier series, Series 4 cards can be found in collector's reserve boxes, whether you have all the Series 3 cards or not. So, even if you are starting on, co on collection level 500, you could potentially find one of these things, right? Well, no, collector's reserves. They don't mention collector's cache. So, you need a collector's reserves start at, at 1,000. So, you need 1,000 collection level to get the possibility of getting a Series 4 card in your boxes you know so uh, starting on collection level a thousand you get the possibility of unlocking a series four card those are only 10 cards so it isn't that bad you know they say these cards are quite rare they are 10 times more rare than series three cards if you're looking for something specific you can always target it in the token shop well i won't do the math but if you can get a card only a 25 percent in one box and this Thing is 10 times more rare so you have like a 2.5 percent i don't know maybe some uber nerd will do the math and <laughs> make a video saying how difficult it is to find one of these cards in in a box you know so the question here arises for me is they say that you can target it in the token shop do are they as rare in the token shop or they can uh, appear in the token shop at the same rarity as a uh, pool three cards that is a great question because if they appear at the same rate, you could target them easier in the token shop than in the collection tag, you know? So maybe someday they will answer this question. Then we have the Series 5 Ultra Rare. Series 5 launches with six new cards, including Thanos and Galactus. We, are, we have been waiting for those cards for a long time, bro. They were data mined since the day one of the close beta. We have known about these cards for a long time and we haven't been able to play with them, dude. Then they say, these are the rarest cards in the game. They can also be found in collector's reserves, but they're 10 times rarer even than the Series 4. So this thing is crazy, my dude. So very few people will have these cards starting when they first come out, you know? When we release new cards or when season pass cards are no longer available in their season pass, they'll be temporarily added to series 5. We don't expect players to get every new series 5 card immediately since not every card is going to be good or useful to every player, right? You'll have to decide which of these cards are worth saving collector soccer for. So they know that one of the primary ways to get these cards is through the token shop because they are really rare in your collector boxes. The thing is, again, I want to know if they have the same rate of appearance as a, a pull three card in the token shop or if they are as hard to appear in the token shop as in a box you know that is a question that that we would need you know be, to be answered then they say how many tokens are needed for cash in ECs? oh so they have different prices so i was thinking okay pull three cards have cost a thousand tokens but they have several tiers bro so series four cards cost three thousand tokens so it's, it is even harder to save up through a four series card and i was already saying that a thousand tokens could take you on average uh, 40 collectors reserves dude so now you have a series four card that costs three thousand tokens bro so to get these cards bro you need to to have a, a high collection level my dude because the thing is that the longer you progress in your collection the the smaller is the pool from cards you have to pull so it can appear faster or or, or quicker yes it, it has more chance of appearing on your collector uh, on your token shop because you are pulling from a, a smaller pool and the same goes uh, to the boxes you know so if you want to play with galactus and you are only a thousand collection level bro you have to be really really lucky to get him if i am understanding this correctly you have to be really 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 lucky to get a galactus if you are just starting in your collector's reserves to be able to pull him out bro but he's like a, a, a hundred times 
harder to get than a regular pull three card because 10 times by 10 times 100 times and if he does appear on your token shop you have to save six thousand tokens bro and we talk about the rate of getting a, a, a thousand tokens being on average 40 uh, collector's reserves and those are a lot of levels because you get a, a collector reserves every 12 levels so do the math my dude so yes if you are advanced like me maybe this isn't as bad because you say well i, I will get out of series 3 cards and now all they can give me are series 4 and series 5 cards and if the rarity remains the same because we don't know that maybe you won't remain having the same 25 percent of getting a card and they will just slap you with the percentage of getting a series 4 and a series 5 card but at least you will have a lot of chance to get 400 tokens so you can save up your credits and since uh, the only remaining cards in your collection and series 4 and series 5 those are the cards that are going to show up in your token shop so you could get them really fast bro really really fast so the question here is for the player that is just starting out in in the collector's reserves you know in the in the 1k collection level there is where it is really hard for them to target a series 5 car and that is my understanding maybe i'm wrong but this is what i'm getting from this then they say you'll get them all eventually all right of course we know we will get them all eventually the thing is we, we want them now you know <laughs> Some cards will be moved down from Series 5 to Series 4, all right. So they, they plan to to make a, a kind of ladder, you know, to, to get a, a cards easier to get. And some cards will be moved from Series 4 to 3, all right. This ensures that players starting later aren't going to experience an enormous gap between a new player and one who's been playing for years. Yes, bro, this is a, this is a core issue with the collection system in Marvel Snap. And we are already experiencing it, bro. Because a lot of people that watch my videos say, bro, you are on the 3K levels, bro. And, and I'm starting, how, how many times have you been playing, bro? How, how could you get that high level? When will we get to that level? And, and it is a concern, you know? And, and they feel like the gap will never close because now we have Series 5, Series 4 and Series 5. So they have an extra step that they have to overcome. And that gap could continue to move, to move, and they will never catch up, you know? So it is cool that they are planning to do this uh, ladder thing when they will get uh, Series 5 to Series 4 and Series 4 to 3, you know. Maybe they will do the same with 3 to 2. We don't know. Maybe they won't, but they should because when we are playing the game for two years and there comes a new player and now you need 8K levels to get a full collection, bro, that is overwhelming, you know. So they need to manage that. A gift to get you started. We wanted to do something fun to celebrate these big new changes and to get you started in the token shop when you log in to the new patch will start you off with a gift for a bunch of tokens. Okay. The amounts of tokens you'll get depends on your collection level when you log in. Okay. This is important, guys. From 500 to 999, you'll get 300 tokens. So, all right. Then they gave you from 1K to almost 3K to 29.99 they give you 6,000 tokens. And then from 3K+, plus, they give you 12,000 tokens. So this is important. If you are at 900 tokens, bro, you have to try to push it to 1K before the patch releases, you know? Because that way you get 3,000 extra tokens. And that means poss the possibility of getting three extra, pull three cards, or even two Series 4 cards, or even one Series 5 card. You know, so it is really important that if you are at 800, 900, try to push it to 1K because this is important. For example, this is good for me even because right now I'm at 2918, 2920, something like that. So I'm going to push it to 3K for, for sure. I will do everything in my power to get to 3K before the patch drops because those are 6K more tokens, bro. I want those tokens. I will get those tokens for sure. That will allow me to get a full collection right away if I want it. Maybe I won't do it. Maybe I will use those tokens to get Series 4 and Series 5 cards, you know, and try to pull my pull three cards just from the reserves and that way i don't get the green goalie for from the 
token shop and we're getting the old-fashioned way like we should bro so that is great so yes if you are close to 1k get that 1k and if you are close to 3k get that 3k if you feel like you aren't going to do it because even spending a lot of money you you have a a, a limit at the amount you can get a day then don't push it bro just relax if you do the math and you can do it don't waste money stupidly you know well you can do whatever you want but that is my advice what if i'm not at collection level 500 yet for players under 500 collection level they'll be granted 3k tokens when they unlock the token shop at collection all right so you don't have to worry about getting quickly to 500 because you will get the 3k whenever you get to 500 so that is cool you don't have to push it there you only have to push it for the 1k and the 3k so that is good to know so bro this is cool this is cool i'm excited for the changes i want the series 4 and the series 5 i'm really excited for the tokens because th this could help me uh, finish up uh, my collection and that is had been that has been a goal for me from a, for a long time so i'm excited about it what i'm seeing is that getting a lot of tokens it isn't easy it will be hard for uh, players in the just starting out in the 1k collection levels maybe it won't be that bad maybe it would i don't know but they have already said that they don't want people to collect uh, stuff uh, primarily from tokens they want them to keep unlocking cards from their reserves and then target something with the tokens that they are missing you know so maybe this will help out i have high hopes for the system and yes let me know what you think in the comments below do you like the rates do you like the prices do you like the token gift that they are giving us what are your thoughts this explains a lot there are still some questions but i i think we will get the answers just when the patch release bro they aren't going to talk more about this you know so yes bro uh, if you like this uh, remember to like and subscribe bro that will help me out a lot bro you are awesome for being here thank you very much i also stream live on twitch you can go and follow me there you can follow me on twitter i will leave both the link, links below and remember bro as the great bill hicks said this is your story.